Good morning, Davo de Oro. Good morning, Z Escuela listeners, especially to all grade 8 students who are listening to us right now. I am your radio teacher, Miss Sushmita Dayanara and Rilampagos from Andap National High School, Nibataan District. And together with me is Mr. Elizur Andre Bukas from Monte Vista National High School, Monte Vista District. We are here happy to serve you for 4 to 5 minutes of bringing you with fun and exciting lessons in Science Grade 8. So, what are you waiting for? Sit back, relax, and join us as we travel the world surrounding the electric circuit. Once again, we are here to bring with you another lesson in science. And we hope you had already prepared your pens, record notebooks, and modules. And be sure that you already had eaten your lunch as we go through our discussion. So, are you ready for today's lesson? That's good! In our previous lesson, we discussed basic electricity, specifically the Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law summarizes the relationship among current, voltage, and resistance. Now, let's recall these terms. First, what is electric current? Electric current is the rate of flow of electric charges from one point to another in a circuit. It is measured in amperes. One ampere is a rate of flow equal to one column of charge per second. A sustained current in conducting wire requires a suitable pumping device, meaning charges will flow only when they are pushed or driven. The work needed per unit charge to move between two points is called voltage, which is expressed in unit volt. Now, how will you describe a voltage? You are correct! Voltage is what makes a current move. Voltage is given by V is equal to W divided by Q, where V is equal to voltage in volts, W is equal to work in joule, and Q is equal to charge in column. We know that batteries and generators are the primary sources of voltage in an electric circuit. Moreover, how much current exists in a circuit depends not only on the voltage but also on the electrical resistance of the conductor. Now, let's talk about electrical resistance. How will you define it? Electrical resistance is the opposition to the flow of current by the conducting wire. The electrical resistance of the wire depends on its thickness, length, and conductivity. Thick wires have less resistance than thin wires because thick wires have greater cross-sectional area for the electron to flow than thin wires. Moreover, longer wires have more resistance than shorter wires because longer wires have longer path for the current to flow. Also, copper wires have less resistance than steel wires of the same size because copper has higher conductivity than steel. 
When we say conductivity, it is the property of matter that allows current to flow. The higher the conductivity of material, the more current can freely flow. Electrical resistance also depends on temperature. At higher temperature, atoms are violently vibrating that can result to greater collision, creating more resistance against the flow of current. Remember that electrical resistance is measured in ohms, named after George Simon Ohm. Ohm discovered that at constant resistance, current in a circuit is directly proportional to the voltage established across the circuit. There you have it! Our previous lesson which is all about basic electricity. Now, we are done with our review and to test your prior knowledge on today's concepts, kindly open your module on what I know, pages 2 and 3, and let's try to answer some guide questions. Let's read the instruction first. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. It is a closed loop through which current flows. A. Circuit B. Current C. Resistance D. Voltage Answer A. Number 2. What type of circuit is appropriate in connecting appliances and light bulbs at home? A. Series circuit B. Parallel circuit C. Either A or B D. Neither A nor B Answer Letter B Number 3 what type of circuit connection is used in Christmas lights? A. Series circuit B. Parallel circuit C. Either A or B D. Neither A nor B Answer Letter A 4. What type of circuit connection should a light bulb be connected to maintain maximum brightness? A. Series circuit B. Parallel circuit C. Either A or B D. Neither A nor B Answer Letter B Number 5 What type of circuit connection should a light bulb be connected to maintain the amount of current in the conducting wire? A. Series circuit B. Parallel circuit C. Either A or B D. Neither A nor B Answer Letter A Number 6 Circuits in home are usually connected in blank. A. Series circuit B. Parallel circuit C. Either A or B D. Neither A nor B Answer Letter B Number 7 The following are advantages of bulbs connected in series except a it does not overheat b it is easy to install and maintain c low current is needed to light all the bulbs letter d large amount of current is needed to light all the bulbs answer letter d 
Number 8. The following are these advantages of connecting two main bulbs in parallel. Except A. Bulb will easily overheat. B. It is difficult to maintain and install. C. There will be current overloading in the conducting wire. Or D. There will be equal amount of voltage for every load in a circuit. Answer letter D. If one bulb of Christmas lights connected in series is burned out, what will happen to the other light bulbs? A. All the other bulbs will no longer work. B. All other bulbs will continue to light. C. The brightness of the bulbs will increase. Or D. The brightness of the bulbs will decrease. Answer letter A. Number 10. Three light bulbs with resistances 2000 ohms, 1600 ohms, and 800 ohms are connected in series respectively. Which one has the highest brightness when the circuit is plugged to a 220 volt voltage source? A. 800 ohms B. 1600 ohms C. 2000 ohms or D. None of the above Answer Letter C Well done learners and I guess you are now ready for our next lesson Based on the given pretest what do you think would be your lesson for today? Hmm. This time, we will discuss with you the electric circuit. We hope that you will be able to achieve our objective. What would be our objective for today? At the end of this session, you will be able to explain the advantages and disadvantages of series and parallel connections in homes. So, are you now ready to listen? Fabulous! Now, sit back and relax because after a short break, we will start our lesson. The Radio Z Spella program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Arquicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanaway Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We In Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. Learners, this time we will discuss about electric circuit. In this lesson, we will explain more about circuit, types of circuit, and their distinctive properties, including their advantages and disadvantages when used at home. Now, how will you describe an electric circuit? Yes! You are right. Electric circuit is a closed loop through which current can flow. For a continuous flow of electrons, there must be a complete circuit with no cups. 
A cup is usually provided by an electric switch that can be opened or closed to either cut off or allow energy to flow. The flow of electron starts from the negative terminal of a battery where there are abundant negative charges to the load, to the electrical switch, and back to the positive terminal where there are deficient negative charges. Here in the Philippines, most electric circuits at home have a voltage of 220 volts. The amount of current a circuit carries depends on the number and power of electrical devices connected to the circuit. Home circuits have maximum service drop current of 60 amperes. But for safety purposes, what is supplied for every voltage source is from 15 to 30 amperes. Let's also discuss the components of electric circuit. What are these components? Well, all electric circuits have at least three components. A voltage source, conducting wires, and loads. They may have other parts as well, such as switches. What is a voltage source? Voltage source is a device that maintains a constant amount of voltage. Common voltage sources used at home are battery, generator, wall socket, and electric outlet. How about conducting wire? Conducting wires are special kind of conductors where current can pass through easily. There is a corresponding safe amount of current that can pass through for every size, thickness, or cross-sectional area of conducting wire. So, it is important to consider the dimension of wire to be used when connecting a load or a number of loads in a circuit. Let's move on to electrical switch and electrical load. How will you differentiate this two? First, electrical switch is a device that can control the entrance of a current. When it is on, the circuit is closed. Then the current can pass through. When it is off, the circuit is open and current cannot pass through. While an electrical load is an electrical device that converts electrical energy to heat like in the case of electric iron and to light and heat like in the case of a light bulb. This time, we will now explore the two types of circuit connections. At this point, it is again important to recall that circuit provides a path for electrons to flow. This path can be in a single direction or can be in a branch path. First, let's discuss series circuit. In series circuit, if one light bulb burns out, the other light bulb will not work because it will not receive any current. Series circuits are commonly used in Christmas lights. The electrical switch is also connected in series with the light bulbs. What are the properties of a series circuit? First, the total resistance of a series circuit is the sum of all resistance in the circuit. Total resistance is always greater than the individual resistances 
in a series circuit. Second, the voltage source is equal to the sum of all voltage in each load in a circuit. And third, the current is constant across each load. How about the advantages of using series connection? The following are some of the advantages. First, a series connection does not overheat easily. For a given circuit of two loads, the amount of current passing through each load is constant. If you add more loads, the amount of current passing through in all the loads is still constant. However, the amount of current in a circuit with two loads is higher than the amount of current in a circuit with more than two loads. Meaning, the more loads connected in series circuit, the amount of current reduces. Number two, in a series circuit, there is only one path for the current to flow from the voltage source to the different loads. It would be easy to connect and disconnect a new load. And last, since series circuit is less likely to overheat, there is no need to use expensive thick wires. How about the disadvantages of using series connection? First, if one of the light bulbs is damaged or removed in a series connection, all other light bulbs in the circuit will not light too. This is because the point where the bulb is damaged or removed causes the circuit to open, resulting to discontinue the flow of current in the circuit. Number 2. The addition of more light bulbs in series circuit causes a decrease in the brightness of the bulbs. Given a fixed amount of voltage supplied by the voltage source, the more bulbs are added would mean more bulbs will share the available electrical energy to be converted to light energy. Number 3. The loads in a series circuit are difficult to control individually. When the switch is off, all loads in the circuit will not function anymore. And number 4. It is difficult to identify the damaged bulb in the circuit. Now, we are done with the series circuit. This time, let's also discuss another kind of circuit connection, the parallel circuit. Parallel circuit is a circuit that has two or more loops. If one loop is interrupted, the current can still flow through the other loop. In the parallel circuit, if one light bulb burns out, the other light bulb will still work because current can still flow through it. A common example of parallel circuit is the connection of electrical wirings at home. What are the properties of parallel circuit? The properties of parallel circuit are Number 1. The reciprocal of the total resistance in a parallel circuit is the sum of the reciprocal of all resistances in the circuit. Total resistance is always less than the smallest resistance in the circuit. Number 2. There is only one voltage which is equal to a voltage source. And number 3. 
The total current is equal to the sum of all currents in each load in a parallel circuit. Let's also discuss the advantages of using parallel connection. These are some of the advantages. Number 1. All loads in parallel connection are directly connected to the voltage source. Even the resistances vary, all light bulbs can still have their maximum brightness. Number 2. In a parallel circuit, even if one of the light bulbs is damaged, all other light bulbs will still function since the flow of current is not entirely interrupted. Number 3. Individual load in a parallel circuit is easy to control. Each load has a connecting wire for the current to flow, and each may have its own switch. Even if you switch off one bulb, other bulbs are not affected. Number 4. All light bulbs and appliances at home are connected in parallel. Switching off some appliances does not affect other appliances. This time, let us know what are the disadvantages of parallel connections. These are some of the disadvantages. First, Overloading may happen if appliances are simultaneously used at home. With more loads, total resistance decreases resulting to excessive large amount of current that would pass through the conducting wires. Consequently, overheating of wires takes place which may lead to fire. Second, a parallel connection is difficult to install, maintain, and repair since large volume of conducting wires is needed. When problem in the connection of course, it is difficult to identify which loop among the main loops does not work. And third, it requires the use of several conducting wires of varying sizes. Well, that's all for today's grade 8 learners. We are finally done with our discussion. So, I guess you are ready now to take the quiz. Yes, after this short break, kindly prepare any sheets of paper for our evaluation. Good luck! The Radio Z Speller Program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Arquicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanaway Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP&H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc. Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. I'm back, learners. Are you now ready for your quiz? I guess you are quite ready and excited. Learners, kindly open your module on Assessment Part pages 15 to 16. Okay, let's do this. Let's read the instruction first. Choose the letter of the correct answer. 
write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. Which of the following electrical quantities in parallel circuit is constant? A. Voltage B. Current C. Resistance or D. Total resistance Number 2. What happens to the brightness of the bulbs connected in series when more and more bulbs are added to the circuit? A. Increases B. Decreases C. Remains the same D. Cannot be predicted Number 3 the following are advantages of a series circuit, except A. Series circuits do not overheat easily. Letter B. It is easy to install and easy to repair and maintain. Letter C. All loads in a series circuit have the same current. Letter D. If one load fails, all loads in the circuit will not function. Number 4. The following are disadvantages of a series circuit, except A. It is difficult to control the load individually. Letter B. It is easy to install, repair, and maintain the circuit. Letter C. It is difficult to identify the damaged light bulb in the circuit. Letter D. Since voltage is not equal for every load, not all loads will have the same brightness. Number 5. The following are advantages of a parallel circuit, except A. Loads are easy to control. B. If one load fails, other loads can still function. Letter C. Large volume of conducting wires will be needed. Letter D. Every load connected in parallel circuit gets an equal amount of voltage. Number 6. The following are true about parallel circuit except A. Voltage is constant across the circuit B. Total resistance is less than the smallest resistance in the circuit Letter C. Total resistance is greater than the largest resistance in the circuit Letter D. Total current is the sum of current passing through all the loads in the circuit. Number 7. Which of the following is correct? When the resistances of 1 ohm, 2 ohms, and 3 ohms are connected in series circuit. A. The total resistance is less than 1 ohm. B. The total resistance is less than 2 ohms. C. The total resistance is less than 3 ohms. D. The total resistance is greater than 3 ohms. Which of the following is correct? When the resistances of 1 ohm, 2 ohms, and 3 ohms are connected in parallel circuit. A. The total resistance is less than 1 ohm. B. The total resistance is greater than 1 ohm. C. The total resistance is greater than 2 ohms. And D. The total resistance is greater than 3 ohms. 9. Which of the following is connected in series with the load at home? A. TV B. Switch C. Light bulbs and D. Refrigerator The following are connected in parallel circuit at home 
except A. TV B. Light bulbs C. Refrigerator D. Christmas lights Let us check your answers. Number 1. A Number 2. B Number 3. D Number 4. B Number 5. C Number 6. C Number 7. D Number 8. A Number 9. B Number 10. D Who among you got perfect? Very good! How about those students who got below the median? Good! Nothing to worry about. You still have plenty of assessments on your preceding topics. Once again, congratulations everyone! Again, we hope that you were able to explain the advantages and disadvantages of series and parallel connection used at home. Once again, thank you so much for listening and see you on the next session through radio-based instruction. I am Teacher Suchmita from Andap National High School and together with me is Sir Eliezer of Monte Vista National High School for the class on the air in Grade 8 Science. For those concepts which are not clear to you, you can put your comments suggestions, and questions on our FB page. Thank you so much. Rajas Escuela Executive Committee The School's Division Superintendent, Yofemia T. Gamutin Sasso 5 Assistant School's Division Superintendent, Dr. Romel R. Handayan OIC Curriculum Implementation Division Chief, Karina S. Frasco School Governance and Operations Division Chief, Dr. Robin J. Viponte. Members, Cecilia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña, Dr. Arlene B. Lee, Dr. Eldicris B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Siquinia, Nohara O. Pinute, Noemi P. Canales, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Virgilito C. Pabrises, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangi, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Dalan S. Milabat, Medar T. Ampit, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee, Productions and Communications, Lori Lee E. Quijano, Given G. Hinampas, Judy Land D. U., Donna D. D. Bolfer, Mary Rose N. Resma, Riven Manuel, Irene Lea C. Manguhon, and Bessie Aya N. Baniens. Social Media and Packaging Team, Christian Anjara L. Martesho, William R. Ranara, Joan T. Iscoton, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Estanyol, Richard H. Arellano, Lee L. S. Blanco, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo Gutierrez Jr. and Jade Karen Arais.